NVIDIA, you dogs. There's been a lot of hubbub lately about the GTX 970's VRAM and its performance. Well, we've brought in a GTX 970 in order to ask the hard questions and get to the bottom of this. Did you kill her? Ah, the silent treatment. That won't save you. This video is brought to you by the world's first 2.5 inch dual drive. The Western Digital Black Square dual drive is available now at NCIX. So in the unlikely event that you're unfamiliar with this whole thing, basically NVIDIA released the GeForce GTX 970 with four gigs of video memory. But 970 owners started noticing that their game's VRAM usage would either top out at three and a half gigs or performance would degrade significantly when it went above that amount of usage. Then, an NVIDIA rep came out and said the 970's VRAM is actually divided into two chunks, a three and a half gig chunk and another 500 megabyte chunk. It was also revealed that the specs originally given to the press were actually inaccurate. Instead of two megs of level two cache and 64 ROPs or render output units, the card actually had 1792 kilobytes of level two cache and 56 ROPs. Say what? NVIDIA had a couple of explanations for this. First, the reason for the mismatched specs was a communication error between the engineering team and the technical PR team. One said something about the other, they haven't been talking since, it's a mistake that should have been corrected, but that's apparently what happened. Second, the reason for the segmented memory is a disabled level 2 cache slash ROP module. This is a diagram of the 970's memory structure given by NVIDIA to the team at PC Perspective, who have an in-depth explanation of this issue if you want to check it out in the link in the video description. On the right, we see the disabled level 2 module. Why it's there has to do with chip binning. The highest quality chips go to the high-end cards and they're fully enabled on something like a GTX 980. Then they take the slightly lower quality chips with some components not working and use that for the next level down like the 970. This is very, very typical practice. You'll find it on RAM, CPUs, GPUs, CPUs, whatever. Now, because the 970 is a Maxwell card, they were actually able to disable only that part without disabling the entire memory controller block. In this way, they were able to get three and a half gigs of full speed memory instead of only three gigs. The extra 500 megabytes to get to the top of, uh, to get to four gigs is actually still there and accessible, but, and this is where the controversy comes in, it can only be accessed at a slower speed, around one seventh of the speed of the main block. So this is why 970 users have been claiming to notice degraded performance once their card starts using more than three and a half gigs. That extra 500 megs, sorry, performs at a slower speed. But it's important to note that it doesn't slow down the other three and a half gigs. Performance only slows down when info in that memory block is accessed. Now, Here's the real question. What does this mean for you, the gamer? How often do games actually use four gigs of VRAM, or more specifically, over three and a half? The team here did some testing in recent games on high settings at a variety of resolutions on a Samsung UD594K monitor, and here is what they observed. Every game's video memory usage was under or around the three and a half gig mark, except Battlefield 4 went up to 3.6 gigs. Now this can be chalked up to a number of factors, including the resolution of the textures and how demanding the game is in general. But the thing that is safe to say is that most games today are gonna stay at or below the three and a half gig mark. So what does that tell us? Well, the 970 has a slower performing chunk of RAM, but it still does technically have four gigs of memory. It's great for gaming today, although gamers who bought it for the four gigs of RAM hoping for more future-proofness might be a little disappointing because that last chunk, while still faster than swapping data out to system memory, is much slower than the rest. So this issue has really divided the tech community in a way that we've rarely seen before, except when Nvidia and AMD are going at each other. Okay, we've seen this before. Another NVIDIA rep posted on a forum later on that they might be releasing a driver update to fix memory performance, but the company has since corrected that statement saying there's no driver on the way because this is just a straight hardware thing. It's by design. So all that remains now 
is for 970 owners to decide what they want. In terms of the 970's positioning in NVIDIA's lineup, this really doesn't change anything. It's still a very powerful and efficient high-end to enthusiast class card and more than capable of handling most games at resolutions up to 4K, but when you really start pushing it, some problems do start to show up with that memory issue. The issue though is that playing at 4K and even, even lower resolutions like 3440 by 1440 ultra wide in demanding games that are gonna be using that kind of VRAM, well, frame rates aren't really optimal anyway, hovering around 30 FPS or lower like in Crisis. So, in those cases, you might be wise to turn down the details a little bit, which would require less memory as well. So is three and a half gigs a good match for the GTX 970 GPU? Should Nvidia have represented the specs here differently? Should they have just disabled the last 500 megs to make things clearer to their customers in the first place? Does Nvidia deserve the kidney shots that AMD has been given them over this potentially understandable communication error? We want to hear from you guys, preferably without turning it into a flame war, ha, in the comments below. That's pretty much it for this episode. I hope this cleared things up a little bit. Like or dislike the video, whatever floats your personal boat. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX, assuming you can get any internet on that boat that you evidently own. Satellite? Satellite internet on the boat. Yeah, but YouTube over satellite, man. It's if you got that, you probably didn't buy a 970 anyway. You probably bought a Titan Z. That so. is true. That is true. Yeah.